Hi, Apache API 6 is an open source API gateway that is built on the top of Nginx and that uses etcd as a data storage to store all sort of configurations and a significant part of its operations lies on it is dual plane architecture we call it the data plane and the control plane data plane is responsible for the actual data like requests and responses flowing through the system it is via the traffic routing, load balancing, authentication, rate limiting, and other API gateway functions are executed. And the control plane in API 6 is responsible for managing and orchestrating the overall system. It sets the rules and policies for data handling that data plane executes. API 6 has a three different deployment modes for different sort of production use cases. In traditional mode, the data plane and control plane are deployed together and sharing a single API 6 instance. In the couplet mode, data plane and control plane are deployed independently with one instance of API 6 for each. And standalone, only the data plane is deployed with a single instance of API 6 and the configurations are loaded from local YAML or JSON files. Depending on your particular use case, you may find that one or more of this is good for fit in your infrastructure. My name is Bavur and I am a developer advocate. In this video, we'll talk about standalone mode in API 6. We will also discuss how it works and how to configure API 6 in standalone mode. Traditionally, API 6 gateway has always etcd. However, API 6 can be run without any TCD2 using only in-memory storage for API 6 objects. For this mode, you start with an API 6 YAML file, which includes a declarative configuration for API 6 objects like upstreams, plugins, routes, services. Using the standalone and declarative configuration mode is one of the quickest and easiest way to get started with this API 6 gateway. We can start API 6 by providing this declarative configuration and one note that the API 6 admin API will not be available anymore. But if you want to make any changes to the configuration, you'll need to change the config file. API 6 checks if this file has any change every second, if the file changes or maybe it ends with and sign API 6 loads the rules from this file and applies a change immediately. The combination of standalone mode and declarative configuration has a number of benefits. You can consolidate your entire API 6 configuration in a single YAML or JSON file to reduce the possibility of errors and even simplify the management. And also, no need to manage database installation if the entire setup for your use cases fits in memory or that can be also quite good for CI/CD scenarios where configuration for objects can be kept in a single source of truth managed to via, let's say, your Git repository. You can also enable more deployment options for API 6 gateway. Also, it reduces complexity like resource requirements and makes it perfect for small-scale deployments and testing and local development will be also easier when you're running API 6 in standalone mode. Setting up API 6 in standalone mode is quite simple. I have already prepared for you on GitHub repository that demonstrates how you can run API 6 in a standalone mode and using the declarative config configuration. The first thing you need to clone this project or you can even start from empty project and by opening your this project on your favorite editor. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio. We need to install API 6 alone using Docker or maybe with other installing options. In my case, I'm running API 6 uh, on Docker. As you can see, I have API 6 image and we are using on a Docker Compose and I can have in the next series any backend application it can be java python go or any the backend service you have that can be any api 
so I'm gonna miss this part uh, and here as you can see we are also on a docker exposing two volumes uh, call it config.yaml and api6 yaml as you can see here under api6 folder there is config.yaml file it's actually deployment file where we say the api6 use a deployment role as a data plane which means we're running api6 in standalone mode and then this uh, data plane uses and takes all the configuration not from etct in this case static from the yaml file the yaml file itself located on, on in the same folder on the api6 it's api6 yaml you can call it differently it's up to you it consists of all these api6 objects and some rules that you can apply to create upstream routes and consumers as you can see uh, in this example uh, we are creating one single upstream call it just example upstream and uh, with unique id and using this routing algorithm or you can even skip this routing algorithms not necessarily can put it can be default round robin and we have one single node which is our backend series uh, which is running on port 80 and then we get creating for this backend series route object uh, which is also example route with just slash URA pass and every get request HTTP request will be forwarded to our upstream backend series and then while it's forwarding we are also using a single plugin for authentication which is key based authentication uh, and we are also creating consumer with uh, that plugin also applies for this example user consumer in this case uh, we cannot access directly this backend service but we need to use key authentication of our uh, API consumer so as you can see all the rules stored uh, inside the one uh, API 6 YAML file and API 6 checks if uh, there is any change in this file every second you can also configure that if the file changed or it ends with this uh, end uh, sign API 6 loads the rules above from this file and updates the changes automatically uh, I will want to show you soon like how it works first let's try to run uh, with this API 6 YAML configuration our simple project now if you do docker uh, compose app it will run two services in our case uh, the same the same backend series and API 6 as you can see I'm using Windows operating system and on my case uh, docker desktop installed and I have a single API 6 instant running and my sample backend series now up and running and we can also access API 6 gateway on port 9080 and 80 which is my backend you're gonna see now uh, what it just returns to us when we navigate to that endpoint it just says hello backend and nothing more but now if we change the port which is gateway port 9080 uh, we're gonna get error because uh, the gateway itself already secured we need the, the API key now in the header to access our gateway and how we enable the authentication for our backend series that configuration is coming from our API 6 YAML file that's how the decorative approach works right you just specify everything in advance and these configurations will be run only when you start the service if you stop the service you lose all this configuration you did now I can navigate to my terminal and try to send curl command because we need to set a header to our API call in this case as you remember in our configuration we say we have a single API consumer uh, that API consumer has this secure API key 
uh, which is just a sample. In reality, you can replace this API key, uh, and the more secure the pattern, where I can take this pattern from the API 6 secrets. So if you run it now, as you can see, we get a successful response from the gateway because we provided in the header the correct API key. Uh, this is the how this uh, config works uh, in standalone mode. And uh, if I now try to remove, uh, let's say, key authentication, uh, I mean any, including the plugins section, and uh, click save, this change will be reflected immediately on the API 6 side. First of all, let's try to test it. In, in this case, if now I delete the header with API key because the route itself now is not using any plugin and I, I can still access my backend service because uh, these changes uh, are automatically picked by the API 6. This is how hot reloading of these changes works in standalone mode. You can read more about how to configure other rules on API 6 website under deployment modes. Uh, you can check like how to create routes or uh, how to create a route and service inside the YAML file or how you can create a route plus service in upstream and how you can set up plugins. Uh, standalone mode almost uh, supports all the plugins in this mode you can run that I mean the plugins that doesn't require any storage. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about API 6 and please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.